How to sound intelligent in any conversation? People with high social intelligence understand that the ability to receive or achieve things requires them to connect with other people in a meaningful way. That may include family, friends or people at work. We all play a role in the lives of each other. Understanding the ways in which socially intelligent people interact with others can help you hone your own social understanding so you can find greater peace, happiness and success in your life too. Let me say right from the start that sounding intelligence has nothing to do with your level of intelligence and everything to do with how good you are at playing the game. That game is largely a verbal one. Of course, in having the ability to speak up for yourself with appropriate responses, here are the 5 ways of how to sound intelligent in any conversation. Welcome viewers to another life changing video previewed by Think Rich Media. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so as not to miss out on any of our new videos. Number 1. Reading If you want to improve your general knowledge so you really are smarter and you're not just playing the game, then my top tip is to read more. Reading feeds the mind. To sound intelligent in every conversation one makes, you must be knowledgeable. Knowledge is different from information. Knowledge is insight, not just an accumulation of facts. Make certain your facts are correct, your sources are accurate, and your insights are grounded in the most current information. If you can feel a lull in the conversation with a phrase like, I just read a really interesting book, you'll be demonstrating that you've got an inquiring mind. That's always going to raise your position in the smart mistakes. You'll be showing others that you're working on your intelligence by opening your mind up to a world of ideas and that this makes you worth listening to. There's no doubt that reading feeds your intellect, expands your vocabulary and changes your outlook at all the same time. If you take the time to read more, you'll be getting plenty of bang for your work. Number 2. Don't try to impress by using big words. Rather than making you sound intelligent, using big impressive sounding words rather than smaller common ones can leave listeners with the impression that you're pompous and pretentious. It's better to talk plain facts using straightforward language. No matter how much you know on a topic, the secret to audience engagement is to boil it down to a single compelling idea. Ironically, the simpler your words and sentences, the more profound you sound. True wisdom lies in clarity, so choose simple words and short sentences. Silence isn't just golden, it's also the crowning glory of eloquence. For example, a slight pause before you're about to say something important creates suspense. It leads your audience to hang on your every word. Number 3. Choose your words carefully. It ain't what you say, it's the way you say it. A person with high intelligence understands that the way they present information or an idea is often more important than what the message is. They choose their words carefully. It is impossible to inform against ignorance when anger is clouding a person's ability to listen. Insults, talking down to and or disparaging people with different ideas and perceptions incite anger. Anger puts a listener on the defensive. A defensive audience is no longer listening. Acknowledging other perspectives and perceptions while offering examples from your own point of view goes better than stirring up anger and conflict. Number 4. Listen to understand rather than just reply. Listening is an important skill to hone and implement. Far too many people engage in conversations but do not actively listen or consider what the other person is saying. Instead, they are merely waiting for their turn to respond, to vent out their own perceptions or beliefs without giving due consideration to what is being said. And that is not counting the people who divide their attention by not looking away from the television or smartphone to focus on their conversation partner. Focus on the conversation. Hearing is more than just listening because you're not letting the conversation flow in one ear and out of the other. A person with a high intelligence is going to understand and acknowledge when they are wrong. They know that it's not worth wasting valuable time arguing over nothing or dodging responsibility for being incorrect. Everyone is wrong from time to time. Sometimes we make bad choices, choose the wrong words, or simply aren't aware of all of the facts. Number 5. Strategically position your body. Brutus words with appropriate gestures, use your hands to emphasize key points, add power to your words by moving your body appropriately. For example, if you're speaking to a group from a stage, you might move to one spot to another to signal that you're introducing a new idea. Similarly, when sitting at the conference table, incline forward slightly when you want to emphasize a point. Reorient your sitting position when you move from one subject or concept to another. Fidgeting indicates that you are nervous. The animal kingdom is governed not by language but by actions. Never forget that we are animals too 
and we are programmed deep down to respond to the tiniest of gestures. If you stand up tall with a confident demeanor, which owns the space while speaking clearly and confidently, you'll automatically be assumed to be the head of the pack and therefore someone worth listening to. It ain't what you do, but the way that you do it. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but it's not, leave a comment and let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope that this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on the notification.